What's up, bikes? Today we have a story on Cole King and Christmas trivia. I'm Allie. And I'm Ethan, and this is SVTV. Today is the last day for students to work in the Writing Center. The Writing Center is also open for the last day on Friday during seminar. Officer McKay would like for us to remind you about making sure you're driving 10 miles per hour in the parking lot and your windows are unfrosted. Do you like to draw? This Thursday in room 901 from 6 to 7, practice drawing a clothed figure. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to those winning the banner design representing the Fine Arts Booster Club here at Seaman High. Senior Cole King was commended for the National Merit Scholarship. Let's go check it out. Seaman High School, Cole King, was named a commended student in the 2019 National Merit Scholarship Program. Well, Cole, first of all, is a, just a tremendous academic student. Um, he was a national commended scholar, um, which puts him in like the top 0.5% of students in the country. Um, he's also a Kansas State scholar. He'll also be a SUMA graduate for us, having earned all A's in our most rigorous courses that we offer to include the AP and Honors coursework. Um, he is an amazing cellist. Um, and I went to a competition at uh, Washburn University just to watch and see some professional musicians, cellists from the Soviet Union and one from California. And I came to find out that he was there all day studying and learning from them. And then they had said what a good cellist he is. So he's also an amazing musician. Um, as far as other extracurriculars, I know that he's been involved with Scholars Bowl and helped us win the League Scholars Bowl Championship last year, which is really an incredible accomplishment for our league, which is ranked always in the top in the country. But also, he's joined debate this year, and I was just talking to Mr. Dingus when you guys walked up about how well he is doing as a senior novice uh, debater and, and doing a great job there. What type of student is Cole King? Well, Cole is obviously intelligent, but you know, you're, we're born with intelligence, so the real question is, um, what does Cole have control over? And um, Cole is responsible for allowing his intelligence to shine, and he does that because he's extremely responsible. He's one of the most responsible students I've ever met. He's also very self-driven. Um, Cole is motivated to please himself, to please others, and that always comes through. He's also extremely conscientious. Um, the work that he um, hands in to teachers is meticulous. Um, he puts thought into it. He puts effort into it always. A national commended scholar um, that also scores very high on ACT exams and completes the Kansas Scholars curriculum will receive a lot of scholarship money. So I would imagine that his college will be paid for. Only 3% of the nation's juniors actually become commended. So when you put it in that perspective, it's really an honor that he's being nationally recognized as a commended national merit. It's not an easy feat to do. This is something that he can put on his resume. Um, again, colleges know that this is a very difficult um, feat to um, master and so for him to be in the top three percent of the entire nation of juniors they're going to notice that it's something that he can put on his um, application for scholarships and they're going to take notice and hopefully he can get some merit scholarships for that his future looks very very bright and the older i get the more happy i am that there's really good people that are going to become doctors and he has great character and he's very helpful um, with other students and he's just a good role model for others. I think that Cole can do whatever he sets his mind to and I know that sounds a little bit cliche but um, Cole um, is just going to be successful. Whatever he sets out to do he's going to make sure that it happens. Many teachers at Seaman are aware of Cole's academic excellence. We talked to Cole to see what he thinks about his recognition. To become a National Merit Commended Scholar, you have to score in the top, I believe it's 3% on the pre preliminary SAT or the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. Um, from that point, about um, two-thirds of those people receive letters of commendation, which is what I've got, and the other 1% compete for semifinalist and finalist status. I wasn't terribly surprised because I got my score back in December and I kind of knew where the brackets fell for commended status versus semi-finalist status versus non-commended status. So I kind of knew where the historical trends were for Kansas so I really knew where I was 
place because I fell kind of safely into that commended bracket. So I really wasn't surprised when I heard in September that I was commended. After high school, I'm going to attend Kansas State University to study biochemistry and pre-medicine. So the goal after that will be to go to medical school. My advice to underclassmen is get involved early. One of my biggest regrets of high school was not involving myself as much my freshman and sophomore years. It's kind of difficult because you can't really drive until you're a sophomore or junior, depending on who you are. But the best thing to do is find those activities that you like and get involved in them as early as possible. My biggest supporters are my friends, my parents, and also Metner, my gifted facilitator. She's done a whole lot for me over the last four years, and she's coached me and counseled me and done, done so much for me over the last four years. Cole's parents and teachers are extremely proud of his academic accomplishment. Make sure to congratulate him if you see him around. Make sure you say congratulations to Cole. Now over to Allie with the sports. Hey, you, have you heard about the ugly Christmas sweater dance? What? Tell me more. December 14th, in the Commons. 9.30 p.m. after the game, and the entry fee is $5. Whoa, don't know how I got this, but I guess I'm ready for the dance. Attention! 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 Calling all bands! All bands interested in competing in the Battle of the Bands! December 14th! December 14th! December 14th! December 14th! Come one, come all! Meet in Mr. Cromie's room at 310. Basketball plays tonight at home against Highland Park. The theme is American. Speaking of basketball, the teams are selling socks for $15 after out of Mr. Pierce's room. Now over to weatherman Josh with the daily forecast. Good afternoon to you. We are looking at our first nice day in quite some time. Yesterday wasn't bad, but today... 56 degrees, mild conditions, and increasing clouds throughout the remainder of the afternoon. However, once we get past sunset, clouds should begin to decrease once again, leaving us with a mostly sunny start for tomorrow. Now, tomorrow does look dry, but as we head into Thursday, this is when our next storm system approaches the area. Right now, I think the center of the storm system will be well to our southeast, but we could see a light mixture of rain or snow Throughout the day Thursday, I'm leaning more towards rain, but there's a very small chance that some of this could change to snow. So here we go. Your seven-day forecast does show that warmer weather sticking around through tomorrow, 52 degrees and mainly sunny skies, but scattered showers with 41 on Thursday, possibly some snow. And then look at the weekend, mostly sunny conditions with upper 40s returning once again. Now, Allie and Ethan, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vites. We are leaving you with the Christmas trivia segment. Have a great rest of your day. Nothing. She didn't love me. <laughs> oh, oh uh, yeah. Wait, what day is it? It was 11. 11. Uh, Piper's Piper. Yeah. That's <laughs> a partridge in a pear tree or something. I don't know. 11 Piper's Piping. Uh, Rudolph. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Keep It, Donner, Blitzen, and then Rudolph. Okay, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and then Rudolph. Dasher, Prancer, Comet, Vixen, Dancer, Rudolph, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. You know Dasher and Dancer and Dancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you know Jacob? Rudolph. Rudolph. Uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. I have not seen Home Alone 2. I've only. 
But I haven't seen the movie. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Ronald Reagan. Donald Trump. Wait, how does he know that? Uh, Whoville. Whoville. Yeah. Whoville. Whoville. Yes. Whoville. <laughs> I I don't. I don't like the rock. What? Whoville. Whoville. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel-Air.